tutorial will show you how to get to the New York Times in order to access the digital subscription you have from New Trier. Students and all staff can access this subscription. After you follow these steps, you will be able to read the New York Times on a browser, on your iPad, or on any other digital reading device you own. Please type in www.nytimes.com slash passes. You must type in this exact URL to access the account through school. You should see this screen to begin with. You are retrieving an academic pass. Please click Create Account. Once this comes up, you must put in your student email address or your faculty one. This is the entire email with either at student.nths.net, and if you're a staff member, you must put in your entire Nutrier email for at nutrier.k12.il.us. Then you are to create a password. This can be any password you want, but it will not update automatically. Please include the year of graduation if you are a student, fill out all of those domains, and then make sure you click sign up. In order to fully activate the account, you must go into your school email. Open that up, log in if need be, and find the email from the New York Times. You will see a hyperlink there that you must click on to confirm your subscription. Once you do that, you may begin reading by going onto the New York Times Digital Edition. One way to read the New York Times is to go to their website. Once you're there in the top right corner, you'll click the Log In button. You'll then put in your Nutrier email address and the password that you just created. Make sure you click log in with all of these credentials and you can begin reading the New York Times on your browser. If you're going to read on your iPad, you may prefer to actually download the app and stay logged in. The way you'll do this is go to the App Store and then download the New York Times app. Once you launch it, you'll come to the first today page. In the middle of that page, there's an area that says for you with a star. Click there. This will allow you to log into your account. Then there is a toolbar on the top right. Please click on this and click login. You'll then see this screen. You'll put in the email that is associated with this account and the password that you've just created. Click login and then you'll be logged in and you'll be able to read consistently on that app. You can also put this on a phone if you want to afterwards. If you would like to search for a particular article, you can do that as well by clicking on sections on the bottom of the page. If you're also doing research, this is where you'll go in order to search for a topic. Once you get here, you will actually go to the top right corner and search either that topic or article title. You may need to scroll down a lot to find an article that you think is helpful. For example, I had to go to a second page here to find what is NAFTA when I'm searching for this topic. One thing to know is that once I find this and say, hey, yay, it's great, I want to use it for my research, I cannot actually save it directly from the New York Times app. If I'm using for research, what I'm going to have to do is actually screen capture each part of the article one by one, lining it up, and make sure I get all of those parts. Then I'm going to launch Notability. Once I'm in Notability, I'm going to need to create a new document. Go to the top right corner where you see the little pen icon, click on that. Once you're in here, double click on the top and then type in a new name for the document to update it to reflect what you're looking at. Next thing I'd like to do is click on the plus button on the side and click on the photo library. Once I'm there, I'm going to then actually select the parts of the article. Now here's the thing that's tricky, select one at a time, not all at once as a bunch. So when I select one, I'm gonna select it and make it larger. And then, uh, then go back into the photo library and select a second one and make it larger again. If I don't do it this way, I'm actually going to get them piled on top of each other. And because this is a little bit of a workaround, it's probably most useful if I keep them on separate pages, lining them up and making them as large as I can. Double check that you've added all of the parts of the article before you move on with your research. Make sure you contact a Nutrier librarian if you have any issues setting up your subscription or using the subscription.